Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode in the series, Meet the Leaders here at Loan Depot. We've got our very own Nick Dawson. How's it going, Morning, Steve? Nick. How are you? Doing great. Thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. Are you kidding? This is fun. We get to work I'm together fun. again. I'm totally pumped to be working with you. Hey, I was, I was looking on LinkedIn this morning just to refresh my memory, but like you and I first met in 2009. Yeah, it's been, it's been a long time, 10, 10 and I remember years. I was like, back then I was trying to recruit you and then we started, we're doing some business with the company you were with. And I, I think I referred one or two people over to you through your internal recruiter at the time, but it was a different time, different place. That's for sure. It's been fun staying connected with you and, uh, and we've worked together at a couple places now. So glad to be working with you again. Yep. Same Jersey. Hey, so uh, as we're getting started, why don't you kind of let everybody know where you're at and what you're doing here, and then we'll kick it off. Sure. So I work uh, in the Carlsbad office. I'm the producing branch manager. We've got a small team of four loan officers and some support staff, and uh, we've been here about two months just kind of getting our feet wet, but really having a good time getting in the trenches and really, uh, really enjoying our time here at Loan Depot so far. Yeah, I love it. You guys are already off and running pretty well. It's exciting. We are. Yeah, we, we hit the ground running, uh, ramped up pretty quick, and um, we're just having a lot of fun. So things are going very, very well. Cool. Hey, yeah. so one of my favorite questions to start with is, you know, who is Nick Dawson as a leader and what fires you up every day when you come into the office or work remote in our remote offices until we're in the offices on Monday? Yeah, it's a little interesting times right now, that's for sure. Uh, what fires me up as a leader? You know, I really am passionate, Steve, about helping others, uh, you know, both that are part of the team, but also that, you know, customers and, and referral partners. I really enjoy, um, you know, watching people's careers evolve and people that I can help mentor and coach, you know, for example, bringing in um, originators that are doing maybe one or two loans a month and helping them figure out ways to double and triple their production. Uh, that's, you know, the, the coaching aspect of this industry is, is something that I'm very passionate about. Um, I had success with it and I really enjoyed doing it. So that, that would be yeah. something that really interesting for me. I remember that from when we met in 09, you had built this massive branch and you had this, all these relationships that are in business your way. And you brought people off the street with phenomenal skills and turned mm -hmm. them into like mortgage bankers who a lot of them are in market right now doing tons of loans, right? Totally. Yeah. There's, there's, there's a lot of great, uh, originators in our market that at one time or another we work together and it's just, it's fun to, you know, still follow their careers and, and, and say I was, you know, helping in the early stages of those careers is, is always fun. And, um, you know, those are the people that I'm drawn to helping people that are either newly in the business or, you know, maybe a couple of years into the business that still need that guidance and support and, and help coach and teach them on how to, how to grow their career. Yeah. And I've also seen you though, as much as that's like a passion of yours, like the person who's doing a lot of business can have coaching and take their game to the next level as well. So, I mean, I know you're, you're doing a ton of loans and can share a lot of what you're doing to help people. Yeah. I try and lead by example. I mean, it's, you know, I'm, I'm in the trenches every day, um, you know, working through files. There's certainly not every loan's easy. There's, there's the good ones and there's the tougher files. And it, you know, it's, it's almost more rewarding when you have the file that is really challenging and you, you, you know, you know, it's a good loan, you know, it's, it makes sense, but you got to work through, um, you know, all the nuances of our industry to get it to the finish line. And when you actually win at the end, you know, you put that family or, or homeowner in their new home. It's so it, that's like the best part when you get to say, congratulations, your loan's closed, you're moving into your new house and, and you did it and you did it as a team. It's, it's super fun. That's totally awesome. I feel that emotion as you like say that, like I, I, it fits really well. Um, Hey, so I'm, I'm not going to say you're a tech nerd, but you are kind of a tech nerd. And I know technology plays a huge part in this business right now. Yeah. And not to make this a Loan Depot commercial, it's more about just getting people to know you outside of if we're meeting with them and trying to recruit them. But where do you see, you know, technology today or five years from now? And what are some of the things you're excited about with kind of how, how things are laid out here? You know, it's, that's a huge part for me of why I, I was taking a serious look at Loan Depot before joining the team was the technology. I felt for, I don't know, 10, 10 plus years, I've been in the business, not quite 20 years, coming up on 20 years. And the mortgage industry, the real estate community is, is behind the times. It's catching up, but it's behind the current times in technology. There's no question about it. And Loan Depot is so far out in front with tech, you know, from a, from a loan process perspective, it's when I, when I started hearing about um, what it was all about and then kind of peeling back the onion and, and understanding, you know, what we're actually doing uh, from a technology perspective it sort of blowing my mind. And now that I'm actually doing it and seeing it and I've, you know, pushed a bunch of loans through the system and closed them 
and have great success with the technology, it, it, it's truly next level, Steve. And most people I don't think necessarily understand, um, you know, what, what's involved in a loan. I mean, even the customer, the referral partner, they don't realize how much moving parts there are behind the scenes. And, you know, great originators, we make it look seamless, we make it look smooth, we make it look efficient. But oftentimes there's like 10 people behind the scenes doing all this the heavy lifting to get it to the finish line. And, you know, and at Loan Depot, it's not that. I mean, it's- hey, So it's, what, what are some examples like of some yeah. pickups? Like in, in, I'm with you, like it's a very you know, linear we, process. I mean, doing it's, it's mellow everything, right? So the, you know, we've got the mellow clear, for example, where, you know, it's, it's, it's a full automation underwrite, meaning, you know, it's not DU, it's not LP, which the whole industry uses. We use that as well, dual AUS, we call it, where we simultaneously can run DU and LP, with the click of a button, an originator like myself that, you know, I, I, in my career, I've never been much of a DU runner. I always have like, you know, other people on the team running the DUs and, and, and putting it through. I can do that. I click a button, it's done in 10 seconds. I know what I've got, the loan's approved through DU, but the next level from Loan Depot is we, we submit it directly to underwriting and a computer can actually approve the loan. No human, just a computer, it says loan's approved. Here's a few conditions, you're ready to close. So we're taking... What used to be a you know in a in a good scenario seven to ten days from application to your underwritten approved you know you're working towards closing a very quick turnaround we're shrinking that to two three days it's just it's it's dumbfounding how fast we're able to you know the the velocity of of moving a loan through the system can be granted there's certain criteria that you have to fit into to make that work but yeah. I've already had I don't know ten files that we've ran through that system and. It's just, it's so cool. What's it's, the experience for the borrower and the referral partner in that? Like, is it firing off? You it's know? firing off so big. And I mean, the referral partners on the purchase side, you know, where they're, they're, the agents are involved and I'm communicating to them and showing them that even on jumbo loans, I mean, jumbos are notoriously, oh, they're more complicated. They take more work. They're, you know, there's tax returns. It's just, it's more effort, right? To put the loan yeah. through the system for all parties. You know, we always say, oh, we need at least 30 days we're doing them in two weeks. I mean, I've three weeks. I mean, it's, it's, it's fun to call the referral partner and say, Hey, guess what? Loans approved at record time. Now we're ready to go to docs a week ahead of schedule. It, 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 it's helping me pick up business for sure. In the short time I've been here, there are, it's, it's, it's helping grow and the word is spreading that we've got something special with the technology. Yeah, And you and I have always talked about this. It's like, if, if people are open for chains, it's usually because you can create efficiency for them and that efficiency either gives them Time back for work-life balance because we've all been working 500 hours a week for the last year with everything that's going on. Or get some time back to go out and grow your business. Rates are going up. Volume's right. kind of dripping a little bit. If you weren't a big purchase producer, like you're trying to get back into the game there. And it sounds like what I'm hearing you experience. And this is, I know it's just a few months into it, but like that, that, that the compression efficiency of time is... Yeah, the compression of time has given you mm -hmm. on that loan process has given you more time to go out and have fun really talking to people and like relationshiping. I'm not babysitting files. You're not having to work on, you know, chasing conditions. It's just, it's really a clean, smooth process. Now, granted, not every loan's perfect. And we've had a couple of deals that were a little bit rocky already and we, we worked yeah. through them and they've already closed. So, I mean, you know, th there's definitely challenges in our industry and Loan Depot is not perfect, but, um, but yes, the efficiency pickup is huge with the technology creating more efficiencies. It has made um, my job and my life much easier to go and work on other areas of my business and, and helping us pick up more production for sure. What about the technology as a as a producing branch manager helping your team dealing with pipeline stuff like that like how is the how are the systems set up to make that really easy for you as well you know the re the reporting here is is dialed like next level i i um i, I get i at my fingertips every day a ton of data just delivered and in a format that's easy to digest it's not it's not complex um, I used to do a lot of manual reporting where I would have to go out and then grab the information to try and understand, you know, where's the pipeline at, you know, what loans are we are you need to triage today. The system really helps with that. And it even points us down, you know, almost like a task list every day that we can, we can delegate to our team and it makes sure that nothing's getting through the cracks and we're just, we're, we're running at a much faster rate. You know, we're like sprinting right now, as opposed to before it'd be like, walk, run, walk, run. We're just, we're running at a much faster clip now. Um, so in those previous environments, would it have taken you like an hour to get that stuff together? Yeah. I, well, it depends on what we're talking about, but I mean that, yes, like the reporting now that I get like daily, I mean, I can spend five, 10 minutes on it and I've got my yeah. whole dashboard of, okay, the whole pipeline, what's going on. I know I can triage things quickly, a couple 10, 15 minutes, whereas before, yes, I would spend quite a bit more time um, having to make sure that things were going in the right direction. Ow, it could be hours. So yes, yeah. it's a good pickup of time. 
Got it. Um, hey, pivoting to kind of what we're doing in North San Diego County and what you're looking to do, like you, we've got a team, it's a base, we want to build and grow, like what, what, what kinds of people would you like to attract to the team as far as kind of just the human side of stuff? Like outside the business, they got to be doing a certain amount of production. We all know that, but like what, how do you build that business family and what are some of the important things for you and people as we try to attract them? Great question. Culture is huge, right? At a corporate level and at a branch level. And I'm, I'm a, I like to have fun kind of guy. I want, I want the office to be a fun environment. You know, as we're moving back into that space, we're actually moving to a new space, which is very exciting. Uh, we're, you know, I want people that are like-minded that are interested in growing their business and, and doing it in a, in a way that, you know, we, we're collaborative. We work together. We're, we're a work family. Um, so culturally it has to be a good fit. But, you know, people that are just open to new ideas, new way of doing things, you know, Lone Depot is different. I mean, you know, we're, we're huge in, in you know, the, the social media space as, as we're doing these interviews and things like that. You know, people that are open to new ways of doing things is, is important so that we can coach and mentor them and help them. I, you know, my, my message to my current team is I want them to double their business this year. So, um, which is a huge thing to do, right? I and mean, we came off a record year in 2020, but with all the, the new tech and everything that we have going on, we feed leads to the loan officers. That's been awesome. We haven't even touched on that. Um, I'm not a lead guy historically, but I'm even having fun talking to some of these, these live <laughs> transfer leads that are coming in. I mean, they're just, they're- Hey, let's they're, unpack that right now. Cause I know that's an exciting thing. And I remember in your first three weeks, you're like, man, I'm getting all these calls and it's awesome. Cause there's oh, actually I couldn't even answer them. I, I, Since we've been talking, I've already had one come in in the last five minutes, but I, it just, the, the phone- <laughs> so how, does that, how does that work? Like so it's a live rate? transfer. We, we get, we, you know, Loan Depot is a huge call center, right? It's been millions of dollars on leads every month. And um, the call center intakes in, in all those, those inquiries and people that are calling in, they pre-screen them and then they tee up a loan officer in the, in the local market and say, okay, I'm going to patch you through to Nick. You know, the phone obviously rings. We answer the call. We get a, a five second download with the call center person. I got so-and-so on the phone. They're looking to buy a new house. These are purchase leads, Steve. These aren't refinance leads. These are purchase leads exclusive. All right. So, looking to buy a home. Sometimes they're already in contract. Some, most of the time they're not but not in contract either. And they'll tell us if they're either working with an agent or if they're not. So we take the call, we pre-approve them on that phone call, run through all their math, run credit, run DU, give them a needs list all on that same phone call it takes 30, 45 minutes. And at the end of the phone call, if they're not working with an agent, we're going to introduce them to an agent within our network that can help them buy a house. And it's super powerful to be able to- Wait a minute, why would an agent want to get a referral for right? a buyer from you, right? I mean, right? What is, aren't you just there to get business from them? <laughs> it's a whole new pivot, dude. Does it's it, so fun. It's how good nuts. does it feel? Are your partner, I mean, what is a referral partner? What is the reaction to something like that? I know that we've always talked about stuff like it's this. It's new. So I, I honestly only have had a couple of those where I've teed up to an agent where that are, they're actually outside of San Diego. So we had to like go outside of our, of our, you know, footprint locally. Yeah. But um, of course it comes with wel welcome open arms they're excited to have a you know an opportunity to work with a buyer that doesn't have an agent already assigned to them so yeah it's it's really cool man i mean it's, awesome. it's next level stuff hey what about the system side so the call is transferred like do you have to enter anything into like salesforce or what's what's like comes with the transfer yeah so you know you get a, you get an email immediately as soon as you accept the call so you're, you're introducing yourself to the customer and in your outlook you've got a link you click on it it loads up our crm uh, Mellow CRM, so you can actually see their information, name, where they live, how much down payment they're looking to do, all that good stuff. So all the stuff that we know about them from the call center transfers into your CRM, and you're not doing any of the data entry. Other no data than entry. Nope. Point None. Forward. And then, and then, as soon as you in the conversation determine that they want to work through a full loan app, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they're just inquiring, hey, what are interest rates at? What have you? It's a five minute phone call. But the ones that want to go through a loan app or you convert them to that step. Uh, you click a button, pulls up a loan application in the software, and all that data is already there. You've obviously fill in the blanks, you know, some of that information we have to punch in. But yeah, um, but yeah it's it's a quick 10, 15 minute phone call with them on the phone and, and you've got a full app and you have a roadmap for them. You can give them advice on what they're doing and off and off to the road, off and running. So, I know something else I was talking with you about that you're excited about is like for even all the people that you don't do loans for that come this way, like you're just, it's building your database on top of your closed loan database from totally. your, your past. And this is like, Yep. Drip marketing, you know, these people, if they're not ready or if they have a friend or referral, like 
you're mm-hmm. just building a database you can brand to, you know, in addition to all the people you get referred to from your, your own networking or your referral partners. Oh, for sure. I don't even know. I mean, sometimes this is no joke. I'll, my phone will ring 15, 20 times in one day. In one day, leads coming. Now, granted, those leads are being shotgunned to other originators. So I may not even win. If I answer the phone all 15 times, I may only get transferred, connected to like three or four. It's not, you don't get a hundred percent. It's, uh, you know, there's, there's multiple loan officers getting fed that same lead. It's kind of like a race to see who answers the phone first. But, um, but the ones that don't answer, they go into like a, you know, into a, um, no one picks up the phone, no originator can help them. They'll email me that lead to then call and follow up with. So that's, it's cool. And I'm, and I'm giving those leads to the other guys on the team too, in our office, guys that, you know, that are hungry, that want leads. I can, I can farm those out too. So that's awesome. um, we're all, we're all getting leads. We're all playing by the same, you know, with the same lead pool and it's, it's working. I mean, there's guys yeah. on the team that are, that are just crushing right now from just doing leads. I dig it. Well, I know how much fun you're having. I mean, you're learning, but you're getting up to speed. You've got a bunch of loans in the system. The team's ramping up. All right. So last question, this is always a a fun one for me, just because I think, you know, we, you and I recruit people and we talk to them about business Mm -hmm. and how we can create value for each other. But I think sometimes, you know, people don't get to know who you are, Nick, outside of work. So (laughs) who is Nick outside of work and what do you do when you're not doing the mortgage thing? I'm juggling a bunch of kids. I've got four (laughs) young boys. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Me and my wife, uh, we live in Encinitas. We've got a, uh, we've got a crew of boys. We got an eight, six, four, and two year old boy, boys. Yeah, please, and uh, it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's a lot of fun, a lot of work, constant chaos. But uh, we, we have a good time. We like going out to the, to the lake. You know, we go out boating. Um, we're just very active. You know, out and about playing. Um, you know, just, just having fun. So. You got to burn that steam or they're going to not fall asleep at night, right? Totally. Yeah. Keep them moving. Keep them busy. I think you're the same way. You got to burn steam or you're not going to fall I'm asleep. A, I'm a high energy guy. High energy. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, it works well. And I've got four mini me. So yeah, it's <laughs> my poor wife. <laughs> are there, are there any, are there any future mortgage professionals in that bunch? Like good relational sales? You know, they, the oldest two kind of, they kind of get an idea of what I do, hear me on the phones <laughs> and so on. You know, they know mortgage and stuff like that. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I don't know. <laughs> To, to be determined. Maybe we'll get some baseball players out of the bunch. There we go. There we go. That'd be cooler. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, hey, I appreciate you. I'm super stoked we get to wear the same jersey again. I know we've got a lot, you know, we've got some activity we're working yeah. on right now, which is cool, but appreciate you being here. And I'm glad you're having fun and, and you know, feeling the impact of a different environment. That's Oh, it's so fun, man. It's, this is, this is so cool. I'm having a blast. Thanks for, uh, thanks for taking the time to talk today. Yeah, you too. All right. For those of you out there watching this, Nick Dawson, Branch manager, Carl's bad. And a guy I consider a personal friend outside of work. So absolutely. Love working with you, bro. Likewise. All right, man. Talk to you later. Later.